When I first found out I was pregnant, I was shocked, very, very shocked, because I didn't think it would ever happen. Um, and didn't believe it to start off with, um, so it took me a little while to get used to that. Um, but after that, it's, it's been okay. It's, uh, I haven't had too many mood swings. I'm probably a little bit more emotional than before, but uh, I think that's part of that is hiding it from friends and, and family to start off with. You didn't want to let them know that you were expecting, so you didn't want to um, give too much away, I suppose, and kept a lot to yourself. You should just put the scanner or Doppler or whatever on the stomach. She went, oh, there it is, just instantly. And then I was sort of reassured and then looked over and, yeah, it's amazing just so real and it's only, I don't know, how many millimetres or centimetres, it's just not that big, but it's all there and arms and really and it's a nose and yeah, it's amazing. I've had quite a bit of morning sickness, that started at about six weeks and it seems to be every morning at the moment. Um, so I'll have my breakfast, I get up and I'm feeling fine and then I'll have my breakfast and then I, I have to go into the bathroom pretty quickly. Um, but generally after that I'm okay, I've only been sick a couple of times after that in the day. So I think I'm quite lucky compared to some people who seem to have it all day for a long time. First trimester hasn't been too bad, a um, bit of dizziness, so you sort of get up and it's all a bit, um, think, oh, so I have to sit down again. Um, slight nausea, not that much, but apart from that, nothing. I just felt terribly sorry for being so sick, really. Mm. And the fact that she'd sort of gone off tea and coffee and things like that, that uh, she would normally sort of drink. So I haven't noticed any mood swings myself. There's been no shouting or, or grumbling <laughs> at me. So. A bit teary, I think that, but not moody or angry or anything like that. Just, I think, overly sensitive, maybe. Um, but apart from that, no, really good. A tired, I think, is the only other thing. Really tired. You get moments where you think, oh, I could go back to bed. My diet is, is just about the same to be honest because um, we always eat healthily anyway and um, we eat a lot of fruit and veg and we, uh, I love nuts and seeds and things like that so I have a lot of those. I'm taking my folic acid supplements as well so I'm taking one of those a day just to top everything up. Um, I'm finding I'm probably eating a little less in the mornings at the moment because I, I do feel sick afterwards. Um, so that probably doesn't help with my diet. <laughs> but um, I've still got a pretty healthy appetite the rest of the day, so I've been eating quite well. And my appetite has changed a little bit, so I'm more into cheese for some reason. Mature cheese, it's hard cheese of course, because you can't go for soft stuff, but that's a big thing for me at the moment. Um, what else? I've gone off sort of, I normally like hummus and carrots and things, so I sometimes I'll have that, but it's not a big craving at the moment. Um, no cakes, no biscuits, nothing major, just dairy, there's something going on with the dairy stuff. Cravings wise, um, I just like strong flavoured things at the moment. I think it's to get rid of that taste in my mouth that I've still got. Um, and a strong flavoured curry or a strong flavoured cheese gets rid of that, that horrible taste in my mouth straight away. So yeah, that's the only craving I'll say I've had just yet. Yeah. Slight kind of tone bulge, but I'm still in my skinny jeans. So I'm quite happy. Yeah, but I do go to the gym, so maybe that's a bit of a cheat. But no, I'm, I'm not, it's kind of, you're in that in-between period where you're thinking, do I need a maternity clothes, do I not? But no, nothing overly dramatic, to be honest. I think the biggest for me has just been, you know, just a little bit bigger on top. But you know what the major physical changes. My weight hasn't changed too much, I think because I have been sick, my weight stayed about the same. Um, but I have noticed that um, my waist is getting a little bit thicker now and chunkier. So I have been, uh, although I've just had to loosen things at the moment rather than buying maternity clothes. I have had to buy maternity bras now. Internet is definitely the first place to go to and then it just leads you on to sort of different websites and books as well, actually just sort of first year of baby and, or what do you expect, what do you expect? There's another good one just so that you know what to expect. You know, is this normal? I feel no, not tired anymore. I'm really, you know, quite um, fit and healthy and is that, is that okay? Or um, just questions that you might ask because the internet sometimes doesn't want to provide all the answers, but yeah, books and internet, but internet. Becoming a mum would be a new experience for me. I've got lots of nephews and nieces and friends with children, so for me to become a mum would be fantastic. Just to be able to hold that little bundle in my arms. And I know it will be difficult, and I know it will be a lot harder than probably what I think at the moment, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to it.